Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Real Sports Updates here. Back again with another video. Um, today's video, uh, I'm just reacting to this whole John Gruden um, fiasco. Um, this really popped up out of nowhere. Um, so I didn't, I didn't even really get a chance to like go over what I'm gonna say. Like I'm just reacting, just my raw, um, my raw thoughts. Uh, but um, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna try to speak logically um, if I can. Um, so basically, Washington Post. Um, excuse me, not the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal. Um, they came out with a story today uh, about John Gruden. Um, the uh, email that he was sent uh, to former um, then Washington Redskin uh, GM Bruce Allen um, sent him an email criticizing um, the uh, head of the NFLPA, Demar Smith, um, where he used some some obviously racist language. Um, he compared his uh, his lips to um, Michelin tires. Um, that was a very um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's very racist. Um, but, you know, at the same time, like, I, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit before I made this video. Um, just just so I'm not, like, over-emotional, you know, just because I do, I sympathize with everything that's going on, you know, as a, as a, a black man. A 31-year-old black man, I've been through uh, my share of racist um, incidents, and I've heard, I've heard a lot of racist things said about me and about other, other, um, Black black folks as well, so um, you know, just trying to react to this in, in the most logical way possible. Um, so I'm gonna start off by saying, obviously, what John John Gruden said was um, completely uncalled for. Um, it was wrong, um, and according to the like the, the context of the the uh, original Washington, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep calling them Washington Post, the original Wall Street Journal article. Um, the context was that. It came out of nowhere, pretty much. Um, they said the the email thread was um, initially about Tiger Woods, and uh, this happened in 2011. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, and uh, the email thread was started about Tiger Woods. It, I don't know if anybody remembers back then, but if you don't follow golf a lot, it was a it was kind of news that Tiger Woods was was um, uh, switching caddies. Um, he had been with the caddy for a long time. I believe his name was Steve Williams. So the conversation got started there. Um, I think they were talking about that back and forth, and then um, all of a sudden, Gruden, you know, sends this email with uh, with this um, this racist stuff in it. Um, you know, so I don't know how. I really don't know how how it got brought up. Um, obviously, there was a lockout going on back then, the NFL lockout, and uh, Gruden was, um, you know, he was really. Criticizing Demora Smith and the way that um, I guess he handled the NFL uh, PA and you know the lockout was going on and it, it was a big thing um, You know the players and the owners couldn't Couldn't really work out a deal uh, for a while um, I can't remember how long it was but uh, I mean, you know, it, it was a while ago. So um, You know for that to come out now is is definitely a nightmare situation for um, not only John Gruden but for the Raiders and for the uh, NFL in general. Um, so for, first things first, man. Uh, Gruden, you know, there's a lot of people saying a lot of different things about how the NFL will handle this um, and how uh, you know things are are things are gonna go, you know, in, in the following days um, since this became public. Um, and the NFL also confirmed that they 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 did find this as well too. So it's not a um, you know, it's, it's not speculation, you know, this is cold hard facts at this point now. So, um, you have to deal with it, you know, from a, from a, a perspective of, you know, this actually happened and it's not just, um, speculation and it's not just, you know, word kind of flying around NFL circles. So this did actually happen. Um, you know, I think John Gruden is, you know, I think he is in a precarious position right now, uh, especially from, um, a job security standpoint this has never happened there's no precedent for this um, as far as the NFL goes um, there's not there's not really precedent for this in any other sport that I can remember um, just off the top of my head the only thing I can think that was close to this was that that 
leaked phone conversation with Donald Sterling, uh, the then owner of the LA Clippers. Um, but this is kind of a different situation because John Gruden is actively coaching the uh, Raiders right now. You know, he's not in a uh, in a management position, front office position. He's actively coaching. You know, and uh, he's coaching 53 guys, most of them being black, most of them being African American. So. This is something that he obviously had to address today with his team. Um, and I, I, I had seen news that he addressed the team, but uh, I, I don't know what was said. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't really look into that as much. You know, I kind of expected that. Um, but if you're a black player on the Raiders, um, you can't feel great right now. Um, you know, just everything aside. And this is not, this is not a, I am not a fan of cancel culture. I'm not a fan of, um, I'm not a fan of people you know, bringing up stuff in people's past and come, coming back and, and having their jobs and calling for their heads and all that stuff. I'm not a fan of that at all, but um, this is a different situation. Um, this is not a Twitter thing where somebody gets, you know, old tweets get brought up. This is not a, um, this is not one of those situations. This is a completely different situation. Um, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I really don't know how the NFL handles this. Um, is there a suspension? Um, is there a fine? You know, I, I, I think that there for sure is going to be a fine of some type. Uh, some type of fine will be levied. That's the, the for sure thing. Um, I'm pretty sure a suspension will come. Um, but, you know, I think everything is on the table right now for the NFL. Um, and I, I think termination is on the table as well, too. Um, and, you know, in... In full disclosure, I can't say that I agree. Um, I would understand. I would understand just just from a league perspective, optics. Um, optics is a really really big thing when it comes to the NFL. What um, what they look like they're doing to handle a situation, um, and with the NFL being like seventy percent black or a little over seventy percent black, um, they're gonna have to do something. Um, Especially this year, this season in particular, um, they, you know, with the NFL, they play the, the Black National Anthem before every game. Um, you know, they, they kind of they box themselves in a corner with this, uh, with situations like these happening. You know, if you come out and say, hey, you know, we're all for, you know, equality, racial equality and, and this and that. And, you know, we, we support everybody and we don't discriminate and all that stuff. Well... You're, you you kind of have to take some hard line action on stuff like this, um, and although it's unexpected, you like I said, you box yourself into a corner. So, um, you know, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to expect from the NFL. Um, you know, I think I think the commissioner, um, his team, the 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 people that work in in uh, you know executive positions for the NFL um, up in New York, you know, I think they're gonna, you know, they're gonna put their heads together and try to figure out what to do with this. Um, because this is, this is a situation that's never happened. And, you know, it, it's, it's not a great look for, it's not, it's not a great look for John Gruden for sure. Um, I think the Raiders in the NFL, they, they have, uh, they, they probably have, 24, no, let's say 48, 48 to 72 hours to uh, respond to this in, in some type of way, in some type of fashion. I don't know what to expect. Um, and I'm not calling for John Gruden to be fired either, but, um, you know, it, it's definitely on the table. And, and you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be shocked and I wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't be shocked if he doesn't get, um, you know, Discipline hard. I wouldn't be shocked if he just got a fine and I wouldn't be shocked if he if he got fired for this either Just because this is a very very this is a very delicate situation with all the black players in the league um, With the fan base too with the Raiders um, you know, I think the 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 Raiders and the Cowboys probably have uh, the most African-American fans uh, of any NFL team um, by far and uh, the Raiders probably have the most just because they've been everywhere they've kind of been everywhere they've been in you know northern california 
they came to Southern California, went back to Northern California. Now they're in Las Vegas, so they've kind of been everywhere on the West Coast. So I feel like they they do they really do have a lot of um, they have a diverse fan base, and they do have a lot of black fans. Um, you know, especially back in back in the day, you know, in in, in the early '90s with hip hop and all that stuff, and you know, you see the the celebrity fans, Ice Cube and N.W.A. and the gangster rap, everybody. Uh, back then, you know, who identify with that, you know, they can identify with the Raiders and the bad boy image and all that stuff. So they do have a lot of African American fans. Um, and it, it is, you know, pa it's the thing that's passed down um, from generation to generation. So they gotta, they, they have to address this in some way or another. Um, this is not a great look, um, personally for John Gruden. Um, and just speaking, speaking solely as a as a as a black man. Um, when I hear people uh, speak speak this type of stuff um, in private, it, there's always it all always goes in the back of your mind. Um, is this how he is in private? Is this how he is? is this really what he's like away from the cameras? Is this what he's like uh, at home? You know, when he's comfortable and there's nobody around. Um, is this what he really thinks of black people? Is this what he thinks of his players? Is, is this what he thinks of his black players? Like. Um, you know, and that's obviously we, you know, most black people, we do have big lips and, and, you know, the bigger noses and, and, you know, these African features. So is that what he thinks? Is that what he thinks about, you know, anybody, anybody in, in, in the organization who's black? Um, so that's a valid question. And I think, it, you know, it, it is a valid question for his players to be asking him right now. Um, and anybody who ever played for him, is this how he thinks? Um. Because, you know, it, it doesn't, um, you know, the whole thing about, you know, oh, I don't have, I never, I don't have a racist bone in my body and all that. Uh, I, I don't, I, that defense is, is old. And um, to be honest with you, as a black person, most racist people say that I don't have a racist bone in my body. Okay. Well, you know, I, bones are not racist. Hearts are. So it, it doesn't really matter. When, when it comes to, to that type of stuff. What's on your heart? How do you feel um, in private? How do you feel when you're comfortable to speak your mind and to, you know, let people know exactly how you feel? So um, this is a, a very, very unfortunate situation for the NFL. Um, you know, this is going to, this is probably going to affect our locker room. I can imagine it is. Um, you know, because there's, this happened in 2011. There's a lot of guys on, you know, there's a lot of guys on, you know, just in the NFL in general, probably a big percentage of guys who weren't even in the league at that time, you know, so he's, you know, insulting, uh, you know, black people while these, these, these kids, these guys on his team, you know, these younger guys are in, they're in middle school, they're in high school and stuff like that. So, you know, it goes back deep. So, you know, they, I'm sure they feel like, you know, is this is this how you felt the entire time? You know, and uh, it, it's a it's a delicate situation. Um, it's not a great situation. Not a great situation for Roger Goodell. Um, not really a um, great situation for Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders. Um, you know what? What do they do? What do they do? Is there a right answer for for anything? For any? Uh, um, you know, any decisions that they make, is there a right answer? Um, you know, and when they do make a decision, I'm sure it's going to be criticized. Oh, maybe it was too harsh or wasn't harsh enough. Uh, and, you know, the, the, I don't know, man. This is really going to be a, uh, um, this is really going to be a, a doozy. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be crazy. And, uh, you know, this, this is not getting the press that it, um, it's not getting the press that it would normally get because it's the weekend and because the games are coming up um, and because a lot of the media people, uh, you know, especially the ones who are on TV and stuff like the ones who work during during the week, they unplug, you know, as soon as they leave the, the building on Friday, they unplug. So a lot of them are not talking about this. Um, I expect it within the next few days, though. Um, they're going to address it on all the morning shows um, on Sunday morning before NFL games. Um this is going to pick up more steam as, as um, you know, 
the weekend progresses and then into next week as well. Um, the the one thing about it too is that if the Raiders lose, if they lose or if they don't play well um, against the Chicago Bears, this thing is going to really snowball and it's going to spiral out of control. Um, and you know it it might cost John Gruden his job. Um, you know, and and this is on top of the Urban Meyer situation as well too, um, which I I talked about the other day. Um, so there's a potential that two head coaches can be fired this week uh, based off of off the field um, character issue stuff. So th this stuff is just, um, this is crazy. This is crazy. I, 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 uh, I've never seen anything like this. Um, and like I said, I'm not a fan of cancel culture. I, I, don't, I don't do any of that stuff, but you, you have to be held accountable as a leader of men when you're a coach in any situation, in any capacity, in any sport, um, you have to hold yourself in high regard uh, because that's how people look at you. You know, whether you feel, you know, you deserve that or, or not, people look at you that way. So you have to hold yourself in high regard. You have to be responsible for your actions. Um, you have to be responsible for everything that you say and you cannot do, um, you cannot do certain things that, that you know, just common people do. You are considered a leader of men, you know. You're being compensated as such. Um, you know, you're, you, you've worked your way up. Um, you know, you cut your teeth and, and stuff and, and uh, uh, you know, college football and, and, you know, being an assistant on NFL staffs, you have to be um, a leader of men. And that's not saying you, anybody has to be perfect, but these types of situations, the Urban Meyer situation, that can't happen. This John Gruden stuff, um, and even though he wasn't in the league at the time, he was a announcer on Monday Night Football. Um, you know, so he's still connected to the NFL. Um, so yeah, th this is not a this is not a, a situation that I would. If I was a player in the locker room, this is a situation I would not. Um, I would not respond well to. Um, I would want to. I would want to know more context around this situation. Um, and I'm sure that there is, you know, that, that what the Washington Post reported was, was, um, it was not good, you know, uh, and obviously there was, there was a lot of, you know, missing, missing context probably around this story that, um, probably isn't getting reported, uh, you know, for whatever reason, but I would want to know, and we, we would have to sit down and, and. We would have to sit down and speak. If if I was a player, I would want to know what, what, what was going on. And if he said things like this before, what, what, what's going to go on? Because also this opens Pandora's box. Um, if John Gruden has ever said anything uh, remotely racist to any black players um, in the past, this probably going to come out uh, within the next few weeks. So this is going to be another PR nightmare for the NFL. Uh, it's going to be a PR nightmare for the Raiders. Um, so, you know, action is going to be taken. I don't know what, like I said, I'm just, I'm just reacting to this just um, the best way I can, you know, and, and not over emotionally. Uh, because when I did see the story, I was like, what the hell? Like, why, why is John Gruden talking this way? You know, he, he's not somebody who I, I view as uh, being racist or whatever. But, um, you know, ra race, racist, racist people and racism in general is not, it doesn't have a uniform. Um, and I know a lot of people, a lot of people love to associate uh, racism, uh, you know, especially when it comes to racism of black people, they love to associate it with KKK stuff. And it's a guy in a white sheet with the, with the white hat on and, uh, and that's not, that's really not what it is. Like that, KKK has become the face of racism and it's not, like the racism is all around us. Um, and there's a bunch of racist people out there walking around actually showing their real faces and they're not in robes and all this stuff. There's a lot. And, you know, 31 year old black man, I can speak to this all my life, um, all of my adult life. Uh, you know, so this is not really a, a this is not really one of those situations where you can say, oh, you know, I know for sure this guy's not racist. And I, this is not really one of those situations because, um, you know, th this this on its face was hateful. Um, to to speak of to speak of someone 
that way, um, to speak of his features, his black features that way, um, and just to, to speak of him in a way uh, that is degrading and, um, you know, you show disrespect and hate, you know, towards the way that he looks. This is not a good situation. Um, so, you know, I'll be curious to see how this, this turns out and what happens. Um, and like I said, I think a big component to this is going to be how the players respond. Um, if they are not responding um, positively, uh, you know, I think John Gruden is going to be gone. Um, uh, you know, the who, the leaders on that's Derek Carr and, and uh, you know, I don't know who else is would be considered a leader on that team. Um, they, they've got to have open discussion about this um, to try and, you know, check everybody's temperature and see where they're at. Uh, because, you know, this is a, this is something that they can't be, you know, just looked over and say, Hey, we're moving on to the next week. No, this guy, this has to be discussed, um, at length. And these guys have to know where they stand with, with the, the, the head coach of their team. And, uh, you know, I, I don't envy anybody in that situation right now. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. This is going to be very, very tough. Um, uh, you know, and, and this, this is a, uh, kind of ramifications, you know, going, going down, you know, that, that can be felt, you know, throughout the, the season, you know, so depending on what, what decision is made. So, um, just curious to see what happens. Um, you know, uh, you know, I just, I, I hope for, hope for the best, you know, I hope that this gets resolved, um, in whatever fashion uh, it is, um, you know, and, and, and hopefully, you know, people can have open and honest discussions about this um, without the canceling and all that bullshit. That, that's all ridiculous and it's stupid. Um, and I don't agree with that. But, uh, you know, you, people have to be held accountable for um, their actions. Um, and that goes for everybody, head coaches, uh, players, um, everybody's gotta be held accountable for their actions. I, I'm a personal, accountability advocate um always have been always will be you know you have to be accountable for your actions um and if you make a mistake you own up to the mistake um you try to rectify it the best way you can and learn from it and move on um so all this canceling stuff is all garbage like you know fire you know every you know everybody needs to fire john I, I, you know let the man speak up first let him let him uh let him speak for himself you know let let him uh, you know, give insight as to what he was thinking, what he was doing. Um, you know, let let all the context be provided before everybody uh, makes a decision. You know, as far as in the public opinion, you know, public court of opinion, um, the Raiders and the NFL, they're going to do what they do, whatever they feel they need to do that's, that's best for them. But everybody else, like, you know, everybody shouldn't ru rush to, to give their hot takes and to... Uh, do all this canceling, like forget about that. Just let this thing play out. Um, if there's more to be reported, let it be reported. Um, or if John Gruden wants to uh, have an open discussion where you know he's answering questions from reporters or players or whoever, like then do that. Um, but to just you know throw everything out and say, oh, you know, the, no, 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 I, I don't agree with that. Don't agree with that at all. Um, but uh, we, we will see what happens. This is going to be interesting. Um, and it's not a good situation either. Like, I, I don't, this is not a great, um, this is not a great thing. Like, I, I, I don't want to be making a video on this. Um, I love talking football. I love talking sports. Um, but this is not the best situation to be around. Not, not the best situation to be in. Um, you know, if, if you're a player or if you're a part of the organization or if you're just a part of the NFL in general, um, you know. Just imagine how many black players have to answer questions about this. Um, you know, guys who have played for John Gruden, guys who have, uh, you know, maybe, you know, know him personally or whatever. Like, um, so they all have to answer to this, and this is going to be a bad, bad situation. Um, you know, so, you know, this this is bad. This is unfortunate. Um, it's not great, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens coming up in the next, you know, like I said, probably 72 hours, you know, it, 
they should there should be some movement on on what what the NFL what the Raiders are gonna do um, and you know we'll we'll just see we'll we'll see we'll go from there and uh, you know hopefully everything turns out for the best um, you know hope hopefully all of the uh, the Raiders players are um, have an open discussion and and being able to get some stuff off their chest and 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 hopefully you know just be able to feel better about the situation that they're in and uh, you know. You know, that's, that's, that's really all that can happen right now. Um, uh, but we will see what happens. So, um, you know, thank you guys. Um, this is just real raw emotions. I didn't go over anything. Didn't make no scripts. None of that, none of that jazz. Just come up, you know, and just, just react to it. And um, like an adult, though, you know, and, and, and not come up here and, and hot take everybody. So um, thank you guys. Um, I appreciate the support. Um, if you can like this video, please like this video. Uh, share this video. Um, comment, let me know what you think. Um, I'm definitely open for, for discourse on this, definitely open for discussion. Um, there's no, uh, um, you know, n n no, no cancel culture stuff here, none of that. Um, you know, this isn't an adult, adult thing, it should be handled, uh, as such. And, um, you know, and the discussions I have about this will be, you know, it will be handled like an adult. I'm not, a, a you know, a little emotional teenager <laughs> running around, you know, um, trying to counsel everybody who's ever done, you know, who's ever made a mistake in their life. So definitely open for discussion. Um, you know, so that's really all I can say at this point right now. So thank you guys. Um, I appreciate the support.